Hey guys, welcome to another video. In this video, I'll be going over angles in polygons. And by the end of it, hopefully you'll understand how to find an angle in any polygon. So for example, if you're given a polygon with 50 sides or 100 sides, you'll understand how to find one angle inside that polygon. And before we start, let's talk about what a polygon actually is. So a polygon is a 2D shape where all of the sides are straight lines. So a circle cannot be a polygon, for example. The most simple polygon you can have is a triangle, where, where all of the sides are straight. Another example is a square and then a pentagon. As you can see, all of the sides are straight in all of those. And it also has to be an enclosed shape, so you can't have uh, something like this, where one side is just open. It needs to be so all of the lines are joining up. Um, so you're probably told, you probably know that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Most of us learned that in primary school. But before we continue, we need to make sure that's, that's true. So we need to do a, let me just do a quick proof as to why angles in a triangle add up to 180, just to make sure. So if we look at this triangle here, we can draw two parallel lines so that one line goes through two of the points in the triangle and the second line goes to the other point in the triangle. And if we look at this angle in here, now we know our parallel line facts and we know that this angle here is equal to the alternate angle on the top here. So those two red angles are equal as that alternate. And we know the, the same on this side. So this angle in here will be equal to this, um, this one up here as they're also alternate angles. And then the only angle we've got left in this triangle is this one in here, this light blue angle. Now what we end up with is three angles on a straight line. And they're all of the angles from inside this triangle. So therefore the angles inside this triangle must add up to 180 degrees. Of course, we knew that already, but it's just important to prove that as we're going to use that fact to prove the rest of the, to prove the angles inside the rest of the polygons. You also probably know that angles in a quadrilateral or a four-sided shape add up to 360. Okay, that's fair enough. What about angles inside a pentagon? You might know what they add up to, but let's prove this using the idea that angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So inside any polygon, we can split that up into triangles, as they're all as all polygons are made of straight lines. So let's take this pentagon over here, and if we start at a point, any point, I could, I'm just going to pick this one, but you could start on any point in this pentagon. And we can draw one triangle from this point to this angle over here. So that's one triangle. Then we can draw a straight line from that point to this second angle over here. And I can't draw any more triangles inside this polygon. I can't draw like one in here because that would just be joining up a straight line. So inside this pentagon, I've got one, two, three triangles. Now it's interesting because a pentagon has five sides and inside this pentagon I can draw th only three triangles. Now let's say, let's call the number of sides n and it turns out the number of triangles that you can draw inside any polygon is the number of sides minus two. So here I've got five sides and I can draw three triangles inside it. So the number of triangles I can draw inside that, pot, that pentagon is five minus two, which is three. So that's important because that helps us to figure out what the angles inside this pentagon will add, will add up to. Let's take, let's take this first triangle. That's going to be 180 degrees inside there. All of these angles are gonna add up to 180 degrees. Same with this second triangle and same with this third one here. So I know that I've got three triangles and all of that angles add up to 180 degrees. 
So therefore the angles inside this pentagon must be 180 degrees times 3, or times the number of triangles. Now if this was the number of triangles, the number of sides minus 2, remember this is the number of triangles inside the polygon, we can multiply that by 180 to get the total of the angles inside a pentagon. And what we're doing here is we're formulating a formula that we can use on a polygon with any number of sides. So let's work this out for a pentagon. We'd say for a pentagon, let's try to use the formula rather than uh, doing it off the top of our head. So for a pentagon, we'd say the number of sides is 5 minus 2 times 180. Therefore, that's going to be 3 times 180. And that gives us 540. So I know the angles inside a pentagon must add up to 540. Now to find one angle, if this is a regular pentagon, uh, then I know that all of the angles are the same. Often in questions they'll tell you if the, if the polygon is a regular polygon or not. Now a regular polygon is where all of the sides and all of the angles are equal. So if I've got a regular poly, uh, pentagon, I can divide that by the number of angles to get what one angle will equal. So if I divided that by 5, and you can do that with a calculator or not, up to you. If I divide 540 by 5, you get 108 degrees. So I know that one angle inside this pentagon will be 108 degrees. Okay, so let's say you're given a question asking you what one angle inside a polygon with, say, 20 sides would be. So for a 20-sided polygon, Well, we can use our formula again. Write the formula out. It's always good practice before you start a problem to write the formula out. Also, that helps you with memorization when it comes to exams. If you're continually writing this formula out, it's very hard to forget. So if we've got a 20-sided polygon, well, I can just substitute 20 in for n. So 20 minus 2 times 180. And this will give me the, remember, the total of the angles inside the polygon, not just one angle. And then I've got 18 times 180 degrees. And put that into a calculator and you get 3,240 degrees. And if you were told this was a regular polygon, you could divide that by 20 and you could get one angle. So one angle would equal 3,240 3, divided by 20, and that would be 162 degrees. But that's only if it's regular. If they don't tell you it's a regular polygon, you can't find out what one angle would be. Um, and that's pretty much all you need to know about angles in polygons. Um, if you don't fully understand how I'm getting this formula, uh, maybe go through that again, maybe do some more problems. Um, and it's not, it's not vitally important that you understand how we get this formula anyway. If you're more of a person that likes to memorize formulas, you can just memorize, um, memorize this n minus 2 times 180, and this gives you the, the total of the angles inside the, inside the polygon. Um, and that's pretty much it. And if you remember, if you're told it's a regular polygon, you can then use that formula to work out to work out what one angle will be. I hope you found this useful. I went through it quite quickly, but it is an important topic. So hopefully, either you 
our understanding or this video has kind of triggered you to say, oh, I'm not quite getting this topic, maybe I need to do more research on that. Uh, other than that, uh, leave a like if you, if you found it useful or leave a comment letting me know what you thought. Thank you for watching. Bye.